Hit. Hit is the call. Nazbul Sijanto, first of all, congratulations for being appointed as the, the captain for the test team. What have you decided? Thank you so much. Uh, I like to bat first. And it's a new look Bangladesh team with a lot of the stalwarts missing with Najim Hassan Shanta, but it's going to be the openers, uh, Zakir Hassan and Mahmoud Al Hassan Joy, who's going to come in. And uh, Mominal, the stalwart, who's done so very well in the past, he is going to be the mainstay. And the new skipper, Najim Al Hassan Shanta, with the experience of Mushfikur Rahim, to back them up. So a pretty strong batting unit for Bangladesh, and uh, they decided to bat first. And uh, Grant, you talk about uh, the New Zealand team. Yeah, I think what was going to be interesting here is just, you know, the bowling attack. They've gone with Glenn Phillips in the middle there, um, batting pretty solid up top. That's the, the five that we would have expected, or even six with Tom Blundell. So very solid, very experienced in the batting, but it's your eyes at the bowling. AJ as Patel, Tim Saudi, East Sodi, Carl Jamieson and Glenn Phillips, um, and maybe a little bit of Daryl Mitchell with some seams. So interesting to see how they'll rally their, their spin troops in this test match. Bangladesh winning the toss and uh, without any hesitation, uh, they have decided uh, to bat first. Uh, only the second test match at this venue. And fantastic to see test cricket here in Silip. 2018 was the last one here against Zimbabwe. Ready to take the first strike. Nicely behind that. That's what uh, both will be aiming for, making his debut. Got. That is a lovely shot, beautifully played, just a touch wide, a little bit fuller. And that will be the boundary, sloppy. A little bit too much weight on the offside. That's nicely played, he just played a little bit more softer, letting the ball come onto the bat, a good piece of timing. Oh. Brilliant. Really. Not in full control, but finds the gap. Oh! That's gone through everybody. Had uh, got the better of joy. Extra bounce. Oh, that's a cracking stroke. Cracking. Oh, oh. He gets the breakthrough. Does Ajaz Patel. A sharp turn. First, just through Ajaz Patel, brilliantly bowled. Zakir Hassan has to go for 12. It's 39 for one. Oh, uses the speed, gets underneath that one. It's way over the top. That's Disciplined one. manner. Once again, now getting a little carried away. He's getting the results. Down the wicket, gets underneath that one. It's going a long way. And, and the reverse. These are effects of the white ball cricket and it is a test match yeah. that's a beautiful shot threaded the needle lovely goes to the yet again he carries on in the same fashion does uh, Nazmul Hussain Shanto that? off the back foot moves the front leg and hammers it away for a boundary through mid wicket comes down the wicket yet again it's in the air now that could be dangerous there's a fielder underneath it. That is Kane Williamson. And it's taken a superb catch. Exactly what you were saying. You don't want to throw it away. Nazmus Shanto throws it away after a good start. Gone for 37. Bangladesh, 92 for 2. Oh. Off the back foot, that's nicely played. Pierce the cap. Will that go to the boundary? It does. It's short. Taking advantage. Only three fielders on the offside, and Joy takes advantage of that. Davison continues outside edge. Will not be disappointed with that New Zealand moral victory, but Bangladesh will get a boundary. Nicely played. Was in the slot, and he did not miss out. That has been. The exception of this innings, and that brings up his 50 in style. Does Mahmoud Lassan Joy? Oh, that's a very lazy looking shot. Question of staying focused. 
Uh oh, uh, little warning do not step out of the crease before I finish bowling. I don't think he, I think he sort of loses his run up there and, and, and then notices that the non strike Line is and length. Shot. That's a lovely shot. That is a beautiful shot. One of the top shots uh, from. Uh, again, it's just gone over the fielder. Chased. Pulls it away. That is a very well controlled pull shot for Momin Alak for a boundary. Opportunity to do that. Short again. Cut away. It might go all the way. Oh, that's brilliant. Brilliant from Conway. We'll probably go upstairs and have a little look. It's a really tight one. I'm not too sure what I'm calling over here. This will be interesting. Slapped it away. Took advantage of that loose delivery. And oh, once again, I think he's got him this time. Trying to repeat the stroke, he's backing away, trying to find room on the offside, gets that little tickle and a good take behind. Very, very good catch and uh, Phillips strikes. And, but Phillips has his second now as Mominal Haq goes for 37 and Bangladesh we could just... Oh, down, down, down. Nice little drive down the ground. That leaves some nerves that it may have built up. Go! Yeah. This time he induces the edge. They've tumbled and uh, the umpire, not quite sure, they feel that they could take in the catch. Umpire might just go across to the square leg umpire and uh, inquire of Mahmoud de la Sanjoy. He's played decently enough, maybe he's picked the wrong ball to push. 86 is what he's got and Bangladesh are now 184 for four. Great away. Pulls the front leg, and his it's almost like he Go! learns from the veteran. Tears the front leg and pulls it away through square leg for a boundary of the back foot. Room for himself and does get a boundary. Does uh, Catch down the wicket from Ushvika Rahim and out. Hey, Jez Patel. He strikes again, and it's a big wicket of the experienced player, taken by Kane Williamson. Look at him, so down. He understands the responsibility he had. He's gone for 12, though. Bangladesh, 2-1-0 for five. Pressure. Shot. Just a little bit fuller. Yeah, you have. This time he, he's taken a wicket. Caught in two minds whether to leave it or play it. And before he could decide, the ball had already hit the bat. But Carl Jamison has worked hard for that wicket. And Mehdi Hassan Miraj goes for 20. Bangladesh now precariously placed. 233 for six. That wicket. Yeah. Swivels and just over. Could have gone to hand the domestic circuit. Go. That that's uh, gaming, to say the least. Short pitch delivery that can be put away. Lose delivery. So far. He goes big time again. He's got a hold of that one. Big swing of the bat gets him. That's nice. Lovely controlled shot. Big timing and despairing effort. Not often we see, particularly. That gentleman who misses out in the field gives Bangladesh the four runs. Catch it! He's enticing the other batter to do the same. He comes down the wicket, Chad at the same. A non committal shot. He didn't go full hog when he came down. It should have just gone on. Didn't quite get over the ball. Clean Phillips gets his third. Shout out Hossein Gunda. And that has been a problem, that has been a big problem. Oh, they've been brilliant. They have been brilliant. Uh, they might be just... Comes down the wicket, Naeem plays it straight along the ground and gets a boundary. Well played. 
Loud appeal and given. Ball rifle raises the finger and Nur Hassan Shohan, the last recognized batter. This time it's Nur Hassan Shohan. Goes out for 29. Bangladesh, 276 for eight. Oh! It was full. It goes through and misses everything. Will not miss the boundary. Was onto the back foot and well played. And will get a boundary, Naim Hassan. Sami comes down the wicket, makes it into a lower full toss, plays it straight, riskless, and gets another boundary. Ball edged and taken. The new ball has worked. Tom Latham has taken the catch. He was behind the stumps in the slip cotton, though. And Naim Hassan, he departs. Naim Hassan departs, departs for 16. Bangladesh, 290 for nine. Of the back foot, that's nicely played. Finds the gap, backward of point. Should race away to the boundary. Of the bat of Taijul Islam, it does. Inside edge. More boundaries. He gets off the mark. Shoreful. Bit lucky. Smiles exchange. Energy. Oh, that's nicely played. It was in the slot. And he has timed it well. Shoreful, second boundary in this over. Was down the leg. Connected it well. Oh, this is good fielding in the deep. Oh, unfortunate. Oh! <laughs> Sharp turn again. This did not bounce as much as he anticipated. The end of the over. 3 1 0 for 9. The loss of nine wickets. Session 3 costing Bangladesh the most in terms of uh, wickets lost. They've lost five wickets in the third session. Bangladesh but team will be disappointed. They got starts and never kicked on. There's a lot of 20s and a lot of 30s in that card. Yes, the tails wagged just a little bit, but I'm always disappointed as a batter. Get to that 30 or 20 and you don't kick on. And Joy will be disappointed. Oh, fantastic innings from him. No one quite could keep this innings together. Wow. Wicked. Ah! Maybe just down the left side. He's gone up. They believed. Yep, straight away. He's taken the review. All tracking coming up now, Hassan. Impact is in line and hitting the wickets. So we've got three reds now. So you... yeah, they only needed a single delivery on the morning of the second day of this test match. And uh, Tim Saudi, the skipper, picks up uh, Shuri full Islam. Gone for 13. The so Bangladesh failed to add any runs. Seven minutes before the start, would have had more than seven minutes before the start of play. 310 all out. Joy. Straight onto the pads. Flicks it away. A couple of runs. The off stump. The Again, a little bit too fuller. Beautiful placement. Look at that ball racing over to the boundary. So this is better, but four more. And just that drift down the leg side had to happen. Law of averages are catching up. Which oh, yeah. just punched away from Latham. He's going to get a healthy reward for it. Well played. But deviating down leg side like that is not going to help his cause. All the bad hat. That was in the air. Does that break the wicket? It does. He carries on with that form. You just mentioned HD in the solo test played before this year. And he takes the first wicket. They get the breakthrough. He's on the scoreboard and so are Bangladesh. Just Tom Latham goes. Yeah. Oof, what a lovely shot that is. Just a flick of the wrists. Oh, this could be out. This could be out. And given. And given. It's Conway departs for 12. New Zealand, 44 for 2. Plays it off the back foot. That's very well played. And uh, brings up the 50. The team 50 in white. So decided that he's going to take on Tajul Islam. And it's gone the distance. So just... 
and uh, that was a little tardy in terms of the lines and that's uh, gone through for four buys that is over it's uh, 73 for two to the pitch of the ball and nicely played this is effortless from kane williamson Sometimes often swift by nichols and he'll get some value for that Beeps it now. He's constantly eyeing that area. This is nicely played, and again, plays it late. You, and straight away, the change in bowling works. He was tentative outside the off stump, was Henry Nichols, and Shorifal gets his first. Well, he ends his time at the crease. It was a partnership of 54. He goes for 19. It's 98 for three. The World Cup for Darrell Mitchell, and he goes down the wicket. Looks a class apart. Not gonna miss out. Very, very comfortable. Yeah. What a shot. Front foot, back foot. Skirt of the wicket on the offside. But we're not just gonna let you hit it back over mid on. Instead, Mitchell has to change his tact, his plan, and he got He has employed that reverse very well. And that has also resulted in a superb boundary. 50 partnership comes up with that uh, back foot shot and oh despairing effort the way the review was not taken it was full and taken advantage of it another boundary the time the ball comes from the middle part of the bat and there's a patch in the middle part of the bat as well again a sweep shot gone lovely delivery Really good piece of stumping, but credit goes to the bowler, Taijul Islam. Are at 164 for four, Mitchell gone for 41 of 54. No, 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 Tofford has played a beautiful shot. That is classic. That, that's yeah. where it goes. Oh, that's down the leg side. He tried to whip it away. Got a little bit of uh, bat to it. Goes behind, claims the catch. Up goes the dreaded finger, and this strike Just again. Tried to turn it around for a single. Unfortunately, he's got to go for six. It's 175 for five. Free flowing game. And it's also the same for his new partners. Another good looking shot into the deep. Been easy. Well, it's easy on that occasion for him. He split for them to uh, put the bad ball away for boundary. They take it on. Uh, it's just gone through. With her. Yeah. Underground, a lovely piece of timing. Four more. And the relief. They're just really. Oh, enough is enough. And he's hit that. Too much wit. Four. Lovely piece of timing. Not going to miss out because he's a powerful lad. Edge. And goes past the fielder. Through the slip for another boundary. There is. Nice up. And. Uh, Grassy Banks, that's played beyond the fielder. That's the beautiful shot. He sort of... Whether it's pitched up in the slot, he's not going to hang back. He's... Oh, and he's taken a wicket. It has worked. Shanto has brought the former captain Momin al -Haq, to bowl and he's bowling after nine years and he's got them the breakthrough the wicket of uh, Glenn Phillips who departs for 42 New Zealand 253 for six yeah. oh, he's got him he has got him Taizul Islam he had dropped Kane Williamson earlier on this time he takes the wicket but Williamson what a knock Bold Taijul Islam for 104, New Zealand 262 for seven. Oh, that's not ball. It crept through. Did he get a bit of bat? There's naming a catch here. What's the umpire saying? Holding up here. It's Sodi gone without bothering the scorers, and it's 264 for eight. Very, very quickly. Hence uh, the over. 
It's 266 for eight. As the two umpires thought of converging and then decided that they'll go across. They're taking a reading with the light meter. Sun Raza. This is now deteriorating enough. Deteriorate enough for them to take off. Take off the ground. Time. Bundell and Kane Williamson batting, building up a partnership till the departure um, of uh, and uh, there we are setting sun uh, max summary at the moment at the end of day two of uh, the Dutch Bangla Bank first test match 310 all out Bangladesh yes just this morning very first ball and in reply New Zealand 206 to 6 for 8 still trailing by 44 runs right we're back here tomorrow at he bowled brilliantly and he was unlucky again straight away there is turn and that is expected all outside off he was playing an attacking stroke that's a nice shot that one from Carl Jamieson just stands tall oh thickish edge I don't know if that's come off the full face and that's edged away Past first. So good. Oh, just in between bad and pad. Missed everything. Getting the runs, bonus runs here. Yeah! Oh, and straight away, he gets the wicket, does Mominal Huck. Gone for 23 of 70 important runs. Likes bowling against New Zealand. Now make it seven out of his 10 wickets against New Zealand. He cleans Tim Saudi up and does the job. They are all out, are the Kiwis. And Mominal, wow, is bowled brilliantly. Yeah, he's a cool customer with the ball. And he'll be thinking about his batting, but uh, he's bowled beautifully. Yes, it has gone through the bat and the pad, playing all over it. And now he picks up his best figures in test cricket, three for four. Eventually, bowling out New Zealand for 317. The skipper, the last man out for 35. What a knock! Which gives them a lead of just seven runs. Bangladesh took their time, and took them 17.5 overs today to take the last two wickets. And important runs from Kyle Jameson, 23, and Tim Saudi scoring 35. Now the partnerships uh, contributing to this total of 317. That's the match summary. Bangladesh 310 in the first inning. New Zealand in reply 317. For uh, the last two batters added. Zakir Hassan now got out cheaply. We see some movement, some swing on offer. Down the leg, it runs to the boundary. Some bounce was in the air. Played it late. Did ah! Oh, that shot. That's a good appeal and given. Gets the breakthrough. Does Ajas Patel. He taken the wicket of Zakir Hassan in the first innings. But they're talking. Are they going to refer it upstairs? They're talking. He's having a discussion with Mahmoud Hassan Joy. I think he is walking back. He's not going to take the review. It did look pretty straight. Well, let's see how far outside off this was. Oh, sixth or seventh, maybe. Even eighth stump. That has turned sharply from Ajaz Patel. He's ecstatic. What a delivery. The batter's coming in. Hey, we're here to play, and it's turning square. Zakia San goes for 17. It's 23 for one. Knowledge. Oh, that's close. That could be dangerous for Mahmoud Lassan Joy. I think he is in danger. It's referred upstairs by Paul Rifle. See the umpire to director. We have a, a run out review, an umpire review uh, for run out at the bowler's end. Um, can you show me the best side on angle, please?
Thank you. Massive deflection straight off his hand. Okay, so just slow that down. Thank you. Can we just go one frame? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's, my, my yeah, my picture's not very good there. I just need a, a, a clearer picture. Thank you. This looks better. Thank you. Just freeze it one frame back there. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, I've made my decision. O-U-T. Now this is unfortunate for Mahmoud Sanjoy. He's uh, run out for the first time in his test career. It was well done by Tim Saudi though. Well, it's the worst way to get out. Joy who batted so well in the first innings. He's got to go for eight. It's 26 for two. On day two, now that's a cracking shot. You could hear it right on the meat of the bat. Oh, spin and bounce. That's a lovely shot. Hard sweep for four. Cuts away four. Yeah, yeah. Did you just... Uh, goes chance. down the wicket this time. That is a very good shot. Really good. And it forces the bowler to bowl short. And four more. Oh, yes. Yes. I thought he was going to say... And then he uh, bowls it a little bit full. And well, uh, that is a superlative shot. I mean, <laughs> he continues on his merry way, and his merry way result. If they just lose a little bit of concentration, or a run out, or a run out, just like that, the game can change. Game changer, you're just talking about it. Just completely against the run of play. Just played the shot, the bird ball watching. And again, a very tragic manner. He came running and the captain was not interested. By the time you send back, you sold down the river by his skipper and a good throw back. Uh, he didn't have a chance, did he? And as you speak, put the mockers on them, haven't you, HG? Anyway. That's a sad end to the innings of Momin al -Haq. Gone for 40. It's 116 for three. Shoulder the responsibility. The fight is on. He cuts away and picks up his first runs with the guy Jameson. The previous over. This time, he sweeps it on the onside and he'll pick up another bounce. It's got fine and it's got another boundary written here. all over. Yeah, the order of the day has been uh, for the batters to sweep, sweep and sweep. Don't really reflect its capabilities. Down the leg side, freebie offered. Thank you very much. Sweep it fine. Take it to the boundary. Oh, what a square. That slap. The chase is going to be futile. That's that's gone fine. That'll run away for four. Should run away for four. Despairing effort, but to no avail. Has dived at the last moment, trying to stop the ball from going over. Once again, it's a wonderful employment of sweep shot. We saw him hitting forward of square, and this time he just waits. Makes contact as the ball goes down the leg side and couldn't get down. Last moment, another boundary. Getting a little worried. Lovely shot. Absolutely top class. Can you say about that? That's. The poor delivery. That is a poor, poor delivery and it gets the treatment, the right treatment. Wants to take that single and he does. Brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. What a knock this is from the skipper. First Bangladeshi player to score a century on captaincy debut. This time off the back foot. That's a cracking stroke from Nazbul Senchanto. And we'll end the over with that bound. I think that's it. They're calling it off.
That's the end of day three. It ends with an expensive over and Kane Williamson, the other centurion, congratulating along with the other black caps, congratulating Nazmul Sen Shanto and all the patience showed by the team management and the selectors with Nazmul Sen Shanto is paying dividends. Look at those two in the frame, partnership of 96 of 162 deliveries. First runs. Uh, surprised to see Daryl Mitchell uh, in the very first over. Yes! Yes! Gone, he's walking. That's exactly what Tim Saudi and New Zealand would have hoped for. We were just wondering. And that luck falls to New Zealand this morning as Nazmul Hussain Shanto goes for a brilliantly played 105. Bangladesh now. 214 for four. That should be a boundary. Not a bad delivery. A lot of wickets, but they've certainly bowled and asked a lot of questions. And there's another question. An outside edge past the left hand of first slip and away for four. Fortunate. That's his lovely time of the cricket ball. 54 and deliveries. In the first inning for 24 runs. They swept that away. He opens in the and gown with now. The this time it's a short ball, but he's pulled that away. And it's got uh, to the boundary. Oh. That squeezed past everything. Almost yorked himself, Shahadat. He gets four runs. For themselves. Yeah! Oh, that's a close one, and that's gone. Well, I Sodi, he gets the second wicket of the morning. It's that of Shadat Hossein. He goes for 18. It's 248 for five. Oh. About this game, and that's a little bit of bat on that, I think. We'll see if it's either Willow or Leg. Well, went through with it. Tantalizingly close. To Nick. Oh, that one coming back with the arm. Close, close, given! It was the arm ball. He has to go, Mushig Rahim, but it was an influential 67 of 116. Bangladesh, 278 for six. Oh, that's an unusual looking shot, but it's got the results. Tries to. Yep. <laughs> oh, there you go. I uh, said he was asking for trouble, he's taking too many chances, moving all around his crease and in the process, as he steps out, he's hit it straight back, loses his wicket. Phillips takes a, a smart low catch off his own bowling. So Nurul Hassan goes for 10, Bangladesh now, 291 for 7. William Courage, tell, he loves playing that shot. Almost landed him in trouble earlier, but this is bicep. Goes down the wicket. Last thing you expected in the last ball. Was the googly and gets the wicket. Not New Zealand. They've got Bangladesh eight down. Naeem Hassan goes for four. It's 311 for eight. Which means they could. Catch it! This is in the air and taken. Henry Nichols takes the catch. And another wicket for Ajaz Patel. He had taken one earlier today. He goes towards the dugout. He's gone for not Bangladesh. 312 for nine. Weeps it. Does he? does he find the gap? I think he does. That's well played and well placed by Media Salmiraz. Keeps it short. Nice t -tust. He'll take the four runs you're talking about. And why not? Ball wins the race. That's a cracking stroke. It's well played. You can hear it right off the beat of the bat from Shorey Fall. Showing character. Down the wicket and taken. Ajaz Patel. He's pushed it wide. And I think that Shorey will find himself short. Umpire review for a stumping. 
Managed to score 10 of 7 deliveries, one boundary in that. So Bangladesh are all out for 338. And New Zealand need 332 runs to win. Has been a brilliant display of bowling, particularly by Ajaz Patel. He's taken a 4-4. 4 for 148. Yeah, they've toiled hard, New Zealand. They really have. They've come here this morning and they've had to. Yeah, wicket for Tim Saudi earlier today. That one of Nazmul Hassan Shanto was an important one. One for 33 of his 15 overs. This is the maidens, uh, but four for 148. Ajaz Patel stands out. A score of in excess of 300. Only twice in their entire cricket history. So. History is against them. Out, 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 out. Shoraful Islam has the first one. Bowled beautifully in the first innings and has started brilliantly here. He sees the back of Tom Latham. Gone for naught. None for one. Yeah. The first one was down the leg side, he couldn't connect it. This time he doesn't miss his out. So Kane Williamson, again, it's still down the leg side. And he's like, uh, I mean, you keep bowling at him on the pads, he'll keep uh, putting it. Down the wicket from Conway. Excellent cricket shot. He'll get four. And he did. Ah! Oh, big appeal. Up goes the finger. That's been given. That was on the cars. Kaijul is all pumped up. The first strike. He was off the park. He's gone a massive strike here for Bangladesh. Gone for 11. It's 19 for 2. And nicely flicked away. Beautiful placement also to take up a boundary here. Gorgeous looking shot through the covers this time. The previous one was onto the legs. That's a top edge. And taken. Shori Fultz taken the catch and made the Asan Miraj. Comes back for his second over. And Henry Nichols goes for two. New Zealand a spot of bother. 30 for three. Wicket. That's why he just come down the wicket and pumped it down the ground. Oh, God. Beauty, just the way he did it. We're talking about those two in the position and uh, in their peripheral vision. Just tentative. The ball came in, the bat was angled. And eventually, Bangladesh do get the better of Devon Conway. He toiled hard for his 22, but he's gone now in New Zealand, 46 for four. That's ball beautifully. Vedias and Maraj continues. This is a lovely, lovely shot through the covers. Has one of been a uh, productive uh, shot, sir. Whole oh, innings for himself. Oh, yeah. oh that's two. Ah. Gone. Tigel is having a ball with the ball. Blunder goes for six. New Zealand, half of the side gone. It's 60 for five. Registered their first win. Nicely swept away. That'll be a boundary. This is good batting. Good. Yeah! Oh, this is close. This is a very good shout. But they have one review remaining. Are they going to take this? For the second time in uh, virtually three or four overs that uh, they have uh, thought about a review. And he says the line was okay. If he's telling uh, his captain, now he's taking it. Just with two seconds to go. Yeah. outside impact in line and hitting the wickets got three reds pull um, he'll be overturning your decision to out I'll let and you know there's screen, the confirmation here's to change his uh, decision and another wicket New Zealand in deep trouble Glenn Phillips gone for 12 it's 81 for 6 tickles it around the corner deliberately playing that shot as the ball was angled away gets them 4 runs That'll be some relief after a long while getting a boundary to finish the over. That'll go away for four. Bounce a couple of times. Poor delivery. 
His first test as a captain has been outstanding. That's four more. This is time he's given it. Straight away he's taken the review. TV umpire to director, we have a player review for LBW. Original decision is out. I've checked the front foot, it's a fair delivery. Can we get a front on, please? And they're really happy. Bangladesh closing in the Kiwis. New Zealand lose another wicket. Kyle Jameson gone for nine. It's one or two for seven. No oh, stroke. That's what Saudi can do. Oh, that, oh, that got very low. The grass cutter negotiated that very well. It's 113 as the umpire takes another reading. And... Oh, and is handed over the cap. Is just going over to the other side to check the light. He must be satisfied at that end. Hands the light meter to Asan Raza. Does Paul Rifle. And this will be the final call. Sent the bench benchmark from the previous days. They'll stick to that. And they say that it is time to end proceedings for the day. So New Zealand, maybe just a little bit of a relief, but uh, they will be hugely disappointed with the strength of their team, the way they've uh, really crumbled in the second innings. In Bangladesh, they've about battered and out bowled New Zealand, you'd say, for the last day and a half. Final day of the Dutch Bangla Bank Bangladesh versus New Zealand Test Series. He's more of that one-day bowler, but he kind of bowls that more that line that you look at Tajul Islam, what he bowled. That line. Now they've played well. They've played really well here. They've dominated. Won the toss and decided to bat first and set it up nicely by posting a total of 310 in the first innings. But Taijul Islam has been magnificent. But I think it tells a story of the pitch, is that you're never quite in. There's always one ball. Meant to be treated yeah. with strokes. Yep. Here you go, first delivery. Oh. You did the pitch report, uh, HD. Yeah, down the wicket. It just shows that he wants to be a little... Now with that boundary, it's the highest part. Again, keeping low, beat the bat, beat the keeper. It's going to go through the boundary. It does. Four buys. Play straight. Sweep the odd one. This one's in the air and taken. That is the one. That is the one Bangladesh have been looking for. The sweep attempted, and it is the crucial wicket of Daryl Mitchell. He tried to hoist it over the top, and it was good, well just catch taken. Tajul Islam, who does his bit with the ball now, in the field with a well just catch. And uh, they've got their foot back in. Naeem Hassan is elated. Well, he swept with power and precision, but not on this occasion. Daryl Mitchell, fantastic player in all three formats. Looked to do something special. Unfortunately, he's got to go for 58. Well played. 132 for eight. Three men around the bat there. Touch short. Did well. Lent back and really hit it with a lot of power. That's a good looking shot. That leaves some nerves. Islam looking for a fifer. Touch short, and every time it's short, they're not going to shy away and uh, play good looking shots to the boundary. Excellent stuff. Let's get the ball where he wants to. Down the wicket. And that's hit handsomely. That'll be a maximum for Southie. That's marvelous. I love his attitude. He enjoyed it. Shimmy down the wicket. 
the first six of the innings for New Zealand this second innings and he's not going to hang back this look at this just the shimmy down the wicket gets underneath that and clouts it really nailed that one went a long way not only first six of the innings Shamim it's the only nation he hadn't hit a six against in test match cricket so now he's completed the full deck. talk about attacking strokes how's about that then take that nail it super relief shot from the skipper terrific attitude shown here by Tim Southey well a crack of the willow here from Tim Southey got some length got underneath it a strong player and that's what he'll do to you slightly over pitch he'll go up and over Pulls the front leg and he gets the wicket. It's the fifth wicket for Taizul Islam. It's a five for yet again for him here at the Silat International Cricket Stadium. And it's the dangerous Tim Saudi, the captain of New Zealand, who makes the walk back. It's a great catch, a short mid wicket. I think it's Zakir Hassan who's uh, picked up that uh, catch. Uh, hit it pretty hard off the back foot, but straight on to him. It's a low catch, so it's a pretty decent catch. It's 12th time, uh, a fifth, uh, five wicket haul in test cricket for Taijul. Nine times he's picked up a five wicket haul in 30 test matches in Bangladesh. First against New Zealand. Tim Sari goes for 34. New Zealand, nine down for 178. The stumps. Yeah. Yes, that's it. It's over. Taijul yeah. Islam. A big roar like a tiger. A 10 wicket haul. And Bangladesh creates history. Their first ever victory against the Black Caps in a test match at home. Outstanding, brilliant, fantastic. The fans who stayed back have just witnessed history being created. It is the Bangladesh's biggest win in a test against a side other than Afghanistan and Zimbabwe. They go on to win by 150 runs. Shanto, only the fourth Bangladesh captain to win his first test after Mashrafi Mortiza, Shakib al Hassan and Leeton Dash. And that man, Taijul, oh, what a role he's played. First Bangladesh bowler to take 10 wickets in a test match versus New Zealand. Six for again in the stadium for him as they celebrate and why not as Bangladesh have won, have defeated New Zealand in Bangladesh for the first time and that too by a margin of 150 runs. Celebration in the camp. Yeah, it has been a collective effort. Winning the toss, Nazmul Shanto decided to bat first and posted a total of 310. This is a how it all end yep straight forward and uh, Zakir Hassan grabs it the moment they will remember for a very very long time look at his reaction absolutely brilliant what a day what a time here with the ball and like uh, He's cool and calm. Nazbul Sen Shanto, he knows uh, what has been achieved, but he knows there is more to be achieved in the next test match. Hugs all around. Mushfiq Kareem also chipped in with a very... Mixing together, contributing together. This is the batting card for New Zealand. The only innings which did not go on to cross 300 in this test match. Well, Latham, he was gone for not. Conway survived for a long time, faced 76 deliveries for his 22. Daijul got the better of him. Got the better. For more updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.